Well, hello guys and welcome back to another episode on the Saga channel. Today, episode 3 of our mini-series Building My Underwater Camera. On episode 1 we've unboxed the Panasonic GH5 and the 12-35mm uh, lens by Panasonic. Last week we unboxed the uh, Seafrog GH5 housing, a little bit of a controversial choice. And this week we're going to set up uh, all of our, um, our brackets, our arms and our Inon uh, strobe. So let's do it. Alrighty guys, so it is time to set up our, um, our our handlebars, our brackets, what do you call that? I don't know what you call that in English. So um, lots of little pieces, I ordered those as well from the uh, Seafrog website. So as I ordered the housing, uh, there is a whole variety of, of pieces that you can order. And so this uh, should be pretty straightforward. Uh, so it's basically gonna be me screwing a whole bunch of little screws into pieces of metal. Uh, should not be too complicated. Complicated. So we have our little uh, base plate and uh, then we have some extensions. We can kind of choose how far we extend this, how big we make it. Uh, the wider you go, the more stable your camera, of course. Um, then we have our, our actual uh, handlebars right here. We have a ton of clamps, uh, can't have too many of those. Then we have some uh, positively buoyant uh, arms as well as some regular arms uh, that we should be able to set up. So let's uh, start assembling that. So this is of course pretty straightforward, uh, just Allen key stuff. I will say this feels pretty sturdy. Like sometimes you can feel when something is just low quality and it's a little bit the same tune as, as the last uh, episode that I expected low quality and then when I touch it, it feels a little bit better than, than what I thought it would be. So there's, there's something. Alrighty, seems to fit well. So now we're going to install our handlebars. Uh, again, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Alright guys, very simple. Uh, that feels pretty ergonomical. I can't really reach the um, the trigger here, but I'll have to just go in between with my hand. That's not a problem. So next we're going to install our uh, arms. Again, very, very straightforward. Okay, great. So we're definitely moving along. Everything is certainly coming together here. Now, before we install our strobe light, um, a little bit about something I said last week. So the Seafrog GH5 housing actually comes with a little flash trigger. That's because the Panasonic GH5 does not have a built-in flash. And so the uh, flash trigger, if switched on, should give a little flash. This is not really enough to, to properly light up a photo, but it is enough to be visible through the, uh, the optical port right here. And so with a, a fiber optics cable, that should be enough to trigger our uh, strobe light. So there is a port as well for a uh, electronic uh, cable, if, that, if that's the way you wanna go. Uh, I'm going to use this option. So let's install it in the housing and let's put our uh, strobe. Alrighty guys, so for a strobe light I chose the Inon Z330 that's uh, purely based on word of mouth. I bought this one from the Backscatter uh, website but I'm sure you can buy them probably from Amazon. Um, so one thing that I do have to mention uh, that's somewhat important if you plan on buying this is that it does not have a ball mount. So if you plan on doing roughly what I'm doing, you will need to get the ball mount adapter in order for the strobe to actually uh, be 
compatible with uh, your rig so um, luckily that's all available uh, on their website so it's not overly complicated but you do need to know that right and then you will need to also make a choice as to whether you want the um, fiber optics or the electronic uh, cable very nice as well uh, this is just uh, with rechargeable batteries, so uh, order a little battery charger, good to go. So one more little uh, clamp here and then our uh, strobe should be all set up. Alrighty, um, the fiber optics cable also doesn't come with the strobe, so that's important to know as well. So if that's the way you want to go, you will have to order one. Uh, I have one right here. And that should be pretty straightforward. Should go into our uh, optical port right here on the unit. Should go right in there. And then we can streamline the whole thing just a little bit. And let's see, maybe here. We wanna find a way to keep this out of the way, right? And then it goes on the um, the optical receiver right here. So we wanna obviously encapsulate that properly. Now, if we switch on our strobe, we should, I hear it charging. This should be pretty much working instantly. So as soon as I fire, the uh, the camera and does the little flash trigger then our internal um, or our, our added strobe there should work so let's see how that goes yeah excellent look at that works perfectly so um, are my pictures illuminated yeah perfect this works great guys so um, our kit is pretty much complete. I could add either a second strobe here. I'm reserving it for a video light for now. Uh, I think I'm going to put that uh, Orca torch that we talked about in another episode. Um, but I think uh, all that's left is to take this on a test dive. So in the next episode, test dive, take some cool test shots uh, and uh, share the results with you guys. And that should conclude our mini series. Guys, as always, if you like watching content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It also helps if you leave a like or a comment. It's a good indicator for us to know if that's the kind of content that people enjoy watching. Uh, and it's fun to interact as well maybe you want to talk about your housing maybe you've had a sea frog before and it did or didn't work out I'm very curious to hear about that somebody commented last week and said they had so far no problems so that uh, gives me some hope um, but uh, as always guys thank you for watching and I will see you next time